Newfoundland and Labrador's northern cod stocks have taken a major hit, dropping, get this, 30% in the past year. A number that surprised a lot of people, considering projections had stocks increasing through 2018. 25 years ago, the provincial government declared a moratorium on cod to stop the problem of overfishing and to try and rebuild the species. And although the cod stocks have been slowly increasing over the last decade, there are new factors that could explain this drastic decline. Joining us now from St. John's is cod expert at Memorial University, Sherry Lynn Rowe. Good to have you with us this morning. Hi, Anne-Marie. Thanks for inviting me to be part of your morning. All right, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans came out with an assessment report. They had said that natural mortality is the main cause of why the northern cod stocks are in decline. Is that the only reason? Uh, yes, the assessment model attributes the decline primarily to, to what it terms natural mortality. It's a catch-all term that encompasses things like predation, starvation, and disease. But in this instance, it could also include um, any unreported catch or discarding, uh, illegal discarding, which might also be at play. All right, I want to share with our viewers a graph just so that they get a sense of just how drastic the numbers we're looking at. So if you look around the middle, in 1992, you can see the stocks were very low. But once the moratorium was put in place, you can see this gradual increase. However, you, Sherry Lynn, published a report last year. It warned the government that cod's comeback might have stalled. They did not listen. They went ahead. They raised the amount of cod that could be caught. Why? Right, so um, about 12 months ago, at least, there was evidence to suggest that the environmental conditions which had promoted this recent burst of cod productivity, um, the conditions had deteriorated. And my colleague, Dr. Jo George Rose, and I published a paper in the International Scientific Journal Nature urging the Canadian government not to act upon proposals to ramp up the fishery too soon um, out of concern that we might derail this, this recent recovery that, uh, that's taken place. The stock, although uh, it's made a remarkable comeback over the last 10 years, is still well below historical levels, um, even what we would have seen, say, in the 1980s. Was it politically motivated, do you believe? Um, it, it's difficult to say. Both, you know, my colleague and I raised some concerns, and the advice of DFO's own scientists suggests that the um, removal should be kept at the lowest possible level until the, the stock cleared what's known as the critical zone. Mm -hmm. When it's in the critical zone, the stock is believed to have already suffered irreparable harm and, and conservation is really supposed to be first and, and foremost. All right, well now the government is in crisis mode. They're meeting this month to discuss some options. As an expert, what do you want to see? Well, from my perspective, the stock is still at very low levels of abundance and uh, we need to take a more cautious approach than we, we have to date. With clear evidence now that uh, productivity has declined and that the management plan of 2017 failed to maintain its, uh, or I guess achieve its objective of sustained stock growth, um, we really need to, to lower fishing mortality. Um, maintenance of status quo fisheries management or, or continuing fisheries expansion really um, poses a, a threat. It, it jeopardizes long-term stock recovery and our ability to have a fully rebuilt fishery moving forward. In the case of northern cod, you know, it, it seems that Mother Nature has given us a second chance at this resource. It's um, it, it's one of the most valuable natural resources worldwide. It's of tremendous importance to the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. Mm -hmm. And we really need to, to make sure that we do everything in our ability to, uh, to try and get it right this time. Based on your field of research, do you think that the species will ever fully recover? I'm certainly optimistic. Um, you know, for many years after the moratorium, people, even within the scientific community, um, debated whether or not this stuff could ever recover. Now, what we've seen over the past decade, this remarkable comeback, um, really suggests to me that it, it certainly can return if we if we really give it a chance. Sherilyn, thanks so much for joining us here on Your Morning. Thank you.